so yeah i mean with that being said we'll just move to the next part which is inventory adjustments now what is inventory adjustments before we see that in next week so let's say let's say i am uh, you know a retail uh, i am i have a retail business of electronic goods okay i have a shop in which i have you know let's say 10 tvs and 20 uh, acs and five refrigerators that are in my stock now uh, when i uh, you know go for the physical counting of the goods and if i realize that instead of 10 tvs i have five tvs left you know for some reason so there is there is a discrepancy between my system stocks and my physical stocks so whenever there is a, a situation like that you know you can use the inventory adjustment transaction of netsuite uh, to adjust your quantities in the system because at the end of the day your system stocks the, the figures that you see in your system should match with your physical stock right and now this is you know a very critical uh, problem for all the organizations especially where they store goods like where they have huge warehouses or production facilities they need to always make sure that the system stocks matches with the physical stock else this could be a you know very uh, severe uh, violation of uh, internal controls and you know it's it's a, it's also an audit uh, uh, i would say you know uh not best practices from audit perspective as well and uh, you know create some issues for the management so whenever there is a discrepancy between a physical stock and your system stock you use inventory adjustment transaction does that make sense yes all right now with that being said i'll jump on to netsuite i'll go back to my home screen Okay uh I'll go in transactions inventory and adjust inventory so this is the navigation to create inventory adjustment Okay so this will open up the inventory adjustment form for us and uh, it's a fairly straightforward form where you can just uh, enter all your header details and then you know set the item records so first things first i need to select the company or the subsidiary in which i'm doing this adjustment so let's say if you have 10 companies you are doing your cycle counting or inventory counting for your uh, particular organization you can select that relevant uh, subsidiary so let's say i'm doing this for my gds corp uh, company I'll select my subsidiary here. Once I select my subsidiary, I also need to select an adjustment account. So notice that you know NetSuite is an ERP system, so any transaction that you do will have a GL impact. And for GL uh, purposes, you know you always have to select a debit and a credit account. So this is the account that will be used as a debit or a credit once this transaction is processed. So I'm going to select other expenses over here. You can select your date. posting period memo if you would need to capture any sort of information related to this inventory adjustment and uh, once you have filled all this information you can come up on the item record so here you need to select the item that you need to adjust so let's say you know this is this item called uh, i'll just try to find one item that i like the most ac57891 This is the item that I realized was short uh, physically, and I need to adjust the quantity. So I will select my location or warehouse in which I am doing this uh, adjustment. So let's say I identified a discrepancy between in my San Francisco U.S. location. So I'll select my San Francisco U.S. location. Notice that NetSuite will show you the on-hand quantity that is available in the system. So let's say uh, right now my on-hand quantity in the system is 913 units. but when i counted this physically in my san francisco us location i found out that they were actually not 913 perhaps it was 915 right so there was an extra two quantity which is not reflecting in my system so what i will do is i will select adjust by quantity here so i want to adjust this quantity by two so i will select two here and as soon as you select two here notice that netsuite will show you a new quantity that is 915 so now you are adjusting your quantity and making sure that your physical stocks 
are matching with your system stocks. So that's the whole idea behind creating an inventory adjustment. Uh, and here you can, yeah, go ahead. Can you see it? Okay, so you see, this is my system quantity previously, and I'm adjusting it by mm -hmm. two. So this is my new quantity that is 915. Okay. All right. And if I let's say adjust this by five, you will notice that my new quantity will be 918. So based on whatever you are doing physically, you will just select the adjusted quantity over here, and NetSuite will record a new quantity for that item. And this will make sure that your discrepancy between the physical stock and the system stock, uh, sorry, the physical stock and the system stock is resolved. So that's the overall idea behind doing the adjustments. And here you can select your unit cost. So this is the cost at which you want to receive the new goods. So let's say, you know, you are foreseeing that uh, this new uh, five goods are worth uh, of, let's say, 600 because these are old stocks and I, you know, uh, the worth of this goods is $600. So I can enter 600 over here and I can add this line. Once I add this line, I can simply save this. And you will notice that uh, automatically NetSuite will increase my quantity by five offer this item yes. and uh, we also process a GL impact. So I'll just quickly show that once this is saved. Okay, so this transaction is now saved. Uh, and if I go here in actions, GL impact. So notice that based on the 600 unit cost and the quantity of five, uh, NetSuite was able to create a GL impact where it is debiting your inventory asset account and crediting the expense account that we used at the header level of the adjustment. So, so this is the GL impact that will be created when you do your inventory adjustment. And similarly, you know, you could also have a case where you need to reduce your quantity, right? So perhaps instead of increasing the quantity, you might identify that the system stocks are showing some overstated figures. So in that case, you can also do a negative adjustment. So how to do that? Let's just go back on this same adjustment. I'm gonna edit this one, the same one. So we need to add the items with the negative balance. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. I just wanted to show you that as well. So let me just wait once this form is okay. So here right now we were increasing the quantity by five, but now let's say uh, you counted your goods and you found out that uh, instead of 913, they were 910. So now you need to reduce your quantity. And for that, I will select negative third three. So now see, yeah. Yeah. that your new quantity is 910. So you can increase also your quantity from this form and you can also decrease your quantity from the same form, if that makes sense. Yes. 